Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDF. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what are the issues and errors normally get reported during MDF implementation as well as during the execution of various jobs which are available in MDM tool. The purpose of this tutorial is make sure you guys are aware about the what are the normal issues which occur so that when you start implementation you will be well aware about this issue and it will be easy for you guys to fix it. The second purpose of this uh, tutorial is uh, we know that during interview if you already face about the interview about MDM interviewer normally asks the question what are the issues and errors you have fixed in your earlier MDM implementation. So that question is to gauge the the candidate whether he's really did the job really did the implementation or not so in order to uh, those guys who are, who are fresher or in the mdm tool implementation they will uh, it will help this tutorial will help to understand what are the issues and uh, how to fix those so let's start the very first issue is related to the sequence name on database side doesn't matter whether it's oracle database SQL Server or it is DB2. This sequence is maintained in the repos table called as the C repo sequence. The issue related related to it is nothing but sequence name is not found and then the sequence C repo sequence. If you see the actual error, it says unable to commit cleans daemon abc.pqr and 7001 due to data access error and some other information also available. Here abc.pqr is nothing but the server name. It is like load balancer server name I just mentioned. If you have your local host then it will be the local host and the port. The 7001 it is web logic port. If you have the different application server the port might differ. The, but, but the actual error like unable to commit the cleans daemon will remain the same. The other information just it will vary. Now whenever you notice such error how to fix it? Normally this kind of error that's occurred is something goes wrong with that your application server side. Maybe your data source is not uh, in, uh, in active state or running state. It might be in the stale state or it, it might not be a configured correctly. Or you might have configured correctly but it, it might not be working. So the, the services associated, associated with the data source might not be working. So how can you fix? The very simple solution for this is restart the application server on which MDM application is deployed. MDM application means nothing but the there are two ER files, the cleans ER and the server ER. So wherever those are deployed, what are the application server, you have to restart that. So that the the connectivity and the cache clearance will happen and your connection will be stable to the database so that you can uh, commit a data in the database properly. And that is what is happening here. The while committing the data for the sequence, the error is occurring, and that nothing but the sequence name is not found. If the connection is proper, then this will, this error will not occur. The next error, un, unsupported major dot minor version fifty one dot o. The actual error you can see the unsupported class version error com cypern sif message cypern request unsupported major dot minor version 51. This is very common error used to occur in earlier version of MDM like 9.6, 9.7 where user will not aware about which JDK should be, they use whether they use the JDK 1.5, 1.6, 1.7 1 various versions were available so it was causing quite issues. But recently the systems are migrated and the companies are well aware about the security policies which comes with the Java. So now most of the systems are up to date like the, if you are using MDM 10 like 10.2 then it supports the JDK 1.8 which is more stable version of Java in in the internet world. As I said this, this kind of errors used to occur in the old version. If you, if your system is not latest system, you might be using the old version of Java like 1.6 or 1.5. You will, might get the same error. The issue is related to JDK. So we have to make sure we are using the correct version of JDK during installation of MDM. 
also while using the MDM through your system. If the JDK is not correct, use the PAM document to check what is the latest version corresponding to that MDM version and install that. And that is the fix for this error. The next error is SIP that is SIP 16092 error occurred in tokenization base. Look at this error message. The detail error message says the fail to verify the need to tokenize records. Return code minus 99, which is very common error. The SIP exception during verifying need to strip and then 16092 error occurred in the tokenization base. This is very generic error message and it's very difficult to fix. The very first step you need to take is go to the, uh, the log configuration that is log4j enable the debug mode once you enable the debug mode it will give you the more clear idea about the error message rather than this is a, a generic error message it will clearly mention what happened during the tokenization whether your match column has some issue your match rule set has conf configuration issue or your tokenization configuration either in the clean server or properties or in the mdm hub level there can be some mistake has happened or some missing pro properties on the process server side that could also cause this problem so so once you enable the debug mode see the what is the actual error and accordingly verify the match column the process server and tokenization configuration if the configuration is correct i would recommend to restart the application server and then execute the tokenization job that time it will fix the issue this is another kind of normal issue which occur during the job execution next issue is SIP 14253 match column like suppose any match column here I just mentioned address underscore PA ST1 that is street 1 is not defined in C address table this is C address nothing but the base object table if you see the error message it says match column address PA street 1 is not defined in object C address review the server log for more details of course you can go to the I mean, this is the actual logs you can see in the same x server and same as cleans log this error is particular occur because the match column is not properly configured you might have using the match column in other location match path you are using but uh, match path is configured but match match column is not configured sometimes something like that uh, cases might you are noticing so verify you have configured the match column correctly and if something is wrong then just correct it um, for example uh, this error if you have the CIF API call you have the custom code in Java which calls the CIF API and there you mention this match column but this match column is not configured in the MDM hub then you will get this error so you have to make sure you are using the current match column so let's correct it and then fix it next error is CIF 16 one to one search cannot use rule set ideal ideal it stands it's for the initial data load it's nothing related to initial data load match rule set or any other match rule set it's related to the configuration you can see the more error in the clock file it says error in building query to run match verb search cannot use rule set ideal this rule set is not configured for search by rule set if you are using any match rule set in your SIF call for searching or running the search match API then you have to make sure you are using the the match rule set for which we have configured the search by ru rule set so search by rule set it enables that rule set can be executed outside the MDM hub and you can be used for the search match API and this is the configuration miss so it's nothing related to any match rule set you can use any match rule set as long as you have configured the search by rule set so the solution as i said the we have to define the proper match rule set and enable rule set for enable search by rule set in mdm hub console while defining match rule set it is like just one property you can see in your mdm hub configuration in match and merge rules match and merge uh, section Next error is SIP 10226 error in building query to run match work. This is the same line uh, as the previous example uh, where rule set uh, we are not configured properly 
uh, for executing the search by rule set however in this case you can see the error message it says error in building query to run match verb the additional information available here is search cannot access rule set s a n like san san analysis that is the rule set name you can use any rule set name the rule set does not exist in the metadata so what could be the cause this is very uh, also generic master it says that it is not present in metadata but it, it may not be the case you might have configured it not just a sign up so the solution for this error is match rule is created but not saved properly in database now we have to save this match rule set in the mdm hub validate the ors and then use this match rule set so this error is kind of common mistake um like we configure the match rule set and suppose you are you are in the development mode and you just did not click the save button and you still try to use in the java code to call this match rule set and that time it could uh, error this could this error could occur the second reason of this error is you save the uh, match rule set but you did not validate the ors which might also got out of sync metadata next error message is class not found exception oracle jdbc oracle driver so this is particularly uh, if you are using oracle database you'll get this oracle jdbc oracle driver error message and uh, this error will not occur on mdm hub side this is particularly will occur if you have the custom code where you are using the jdbc connection the so how to fix this so you have to use the ojdbc 14.jar file in your class path for the project there are other higher version of this jar files also available based on your implementation you have to use that jar file to fix this error message certificate unknown alert was received from 127001 the peer has an unspecified issue with the certificate so if you see the error message it is like ssl handshake error message so certificates are missing so we have to make sure the correct ssl certificates are installed for cleans and the hub server next error message is sip 10090 error in building query to run match work this is the same like uh, same error like we have seen previously the root cause is different it says the no online match server available If you see the error message, the error message is SIP 10090 error in building query to run match verb no online match server available. To see uh, the issue could be you might not have configured the process server, or the other issue is you configured the match server but it is not in the running state. So make sure your process server is configured correctly and it is in running state. If it is not, just uh, hit the run but uh, hit the start button. It will. it will be available so these are the causes and you can fix it very easily this issue next error is com.informatica.mdm util.repository change e monitor thread unable to detect the changes from abc.pqr.mdm sample abc.pqr it's a something like uh, tns name which is what it, uh, or the database server name which is associated with that schema mdm sample is the schema name uh, the in the error log if you see uh, you'll see this java.lang arithmetic exception also it says the internal error like ul connect oci server attach etc and some tns details how to fix this error the error is this occur because the honor co properly configured the data source as well as the tns name you use it is not proper So we have to make sure TNS name is correct and is configured correctly. Once it is configured, I would recommend to restart the application server before doing any validation or using the MDM Hub jobs. So these are the few issues which normally occur during the MDM implementation as well as during the execution. So I hope this tutorial is going to help you uh, to prepare for your implementation as well as for your inter interview. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice time.